Hmm? Oh, hi. I'm just scanning the knife again. Oh, uh, you saw that, huh? Well, no point in denying it. What? Oh, no, no it's, it's nothing like that. Uh, well, maybe it is kind of like that. It's complicated. Well, maybe not that complicated. Uh, just leave it, okay? Me? I'm fine. I'm working. So, yeah, I'm alright. Burnout. Good one. <sighs> you really want to know how I feel? I want to burn the North Woods to the ground. Then, when there isn't a twig or weed left, I'll flambe that dryad like a fancy cake. Did I ever tell you about Alden, my great grandfather? Evil is one word for it. He was a terrible force of nature. I always wondered what made him that way. What made him decide that turning villages of people to ash was a good idea. He lived a long, long time. Long even for a mage, but he was still human. Maybe he suffered one loss too many. Will that be me one day? I don't know. They don't because they can't. They don't have a mage's power. I do. I've lost a lot of people in my life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but it never gets easier. Jesus, I'm making this all about me, aren't I? Poor Mandana. Let's talk about something else. Uh-huh. Sure. She just needs time. Seems easy enough to give it to her. Yeah, well, I feel for her, I really do. But the whole operation was dumb from the start. That's hardly fair. I mean, I didn't know Kalash well, but he seemed to know what was what. He was cocky. He should have brought us along. We could have helped. How? She couldn't be killed. Not in the normal way. You can't know that for sure. I'm just saying, numbers. We could have made a difference. Maybe. But wondering what if is like growing an orchard in the desert. You mean fruitless? Uh, yeah. My old sponsor used to say that. Jesus. Remind me to never quit drinking. Anyway, what now? We having a briefing or what? You sure that's a good idea? You're the one who... Well, never mind. You do what you think is best. We'll be here. Just call us when it's time. It is... strange. Father did not speak much, and yet this room feels so silent without him. see the truth of it, as Father knew I would. His sacrifice saved us. He saved the unavowed, perhaps the city, even still. Knowing that does little to make me feel better. Getting to know my father would not have been easy, even if he lived. Ajin's mind is a maze, twisted and complex. Father was no different. Even I had difficulty understanding his thoughts. I suppose I am too human. Yes, it is time. You doing all right? As well as can be expected. Thank you. I have not lost sight of our goal. The demon still eludes us. But we've got a name now, right? 
What'd you say it was? Mel something. Mel Carissa. Great. That's something. So what's our play? I was hoping you'd ask that. We got lucky last time. The demon's energy signature had degraded so badly, it was hard to pinpoint where it had been. But this time, I had its name. That made the scan ten times more precise. So you found more locations? Better. I pinpointed the point of most activity. The demon went all over the city, but there's one place it kept returning to again and again. I was even able to get an exact address. And that place is? 300 Henderson Avenue, on Staten Island. You've got to be fucking kidding me! Does that address mean something to you? Really? The place where you got possessed? And where I got friggin' shot. You can't fully escape your past, can you? Veil or no veil. Look, I might not know a lot about demons, but the whole returning to the scene of the crime thing? It's bullshit. It never actually happens. So what the hell is going on? It is not a name I have heard of before. I did some scrying last night. From the bits I've been able to pick up, the name Mel Caressa is associated with knowledge. Knowledge? What does that mean? I'm as lost as you are. The scry is still ongoing. Hopefully it can tell us more. Sure. Ready when you are. But if you get possessed again, I'm shooting you first this time. Indeed. It is time we take the fight to the enemy. We are ready to depart when you are. Lead the way. They don't have Wi-Fi in the tunnels yet. So no, sorry. Huh? Nothing. KK wants me to turn on Troll Gate, but there's no signal down here. Kids in screens, right? Gotta set limits. KK and I came here once, you know. We read about the murders and swung by to see if anyone was haunting the place. We didn't find anyone, so there's that, at least. Was that here as well? Uh, no. No, it wasn't. What have you got there? Looks like some handwritten notes. I'm guessing it's your handwriting. Well, you wouldn't, would you? What does it say? A fossil? Really? Come on, let's keep reading. This is insane! The demon's filling the city with supernatural energy on purpose! I guess that explains why we've been so busy lately.
Our demons sure have been busy. So the demons created a pocket realm. That's gotta be where it went. A portal? Vicky was telling us about him the other day. This the same thing? Yeah, but portals like this take a huge amount of energy to create. But if someone were to spend a year generating spiritual unrest in New York, creating lots of magical energy as a byproduct, you mean, like our demon just did? Yes, exactly like that. That's what all this was for. I wouldn't know where to begin. It's sealed solid. There are bonds of energy holding the portal closed. I can kind of sense them. And they feel frayed. Frayed? Yeah. And pretty recently, too. This is because of us, isn't it? Going around and fixing things. Stopping what the demon did. There's less energy to hold this thing closed? Exactly. Yeah. Chinatown, Wall Street, and Prospect Park. We're ready when you are. So, Logan, is KK standing still, or is she moving with the subway? What do you mean? She's not actually standing on the floor, right? So what's keeping her here? I mean, magic or not, that's just basic physics. Is closed. Huh? KK wants to go see the Statue of Liberty. The ferry's nearby. Ha! <laughs> That's so. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. I won't let one mistake destroy everything I've built. I won't. Too many depend on us. There's too much at stake. I know this, but I cannot worry about them now. The trust must survive. If we go down, it would be catastrophic. You told me you could make all this go away. Is this true? It's lying that got us into this mess. Be sure to remember that. Listen, Miss... What was your name again? It is not my nature to trust anyone, least of all a stranger. And yet, I think you're the woman for the job. Whatever it is you need to do, do it. With my blessing. Let's go to my office and discuss this privately. Something tells me this help doesn't involve a low-interest loan. Is everything all right? Should I call an ambulance? Oh, hi. <laughs> no. Our friend is just having an episode. She gets them sometimes. You're... no. Never mind. It's not my problem. See? Totally fine. Well, you seem all right. 
Just be careful around here. It's... Well, just be careful. Well, that was awkward. in their tower, believing they are giants. That they're too important, too vital to fail. So they... All right, society is being consumed by a terminal poison. We've been robbed and nobody sees it. So no, madam, I am not all right. I am in great pain, as we all are. Report it to who? The police? The police can do nothing. They are asleep. They don't see. Screaming into the abyss in the hope that someone hears me. Can you hear me? We heard you. It would be kind of hard not to. You hear with your ears, but not your mind. You are asleep. Wake up! Please. Yes, because I am the only one awake. Please wake up. Please. The only void is the dark emptiness inside the Grant City Trust. They are the cancerous to poisoning society and stealing our future. But nobody sees it. They can't. They, they, they are a Cancer on society, taking our future, taking our lives. Look, I get that you're upset, but all this shouting, it's not healthy. You understand that, right? I mean precisely what I say. That ghost, can you see it, Logan? Yeah, I can see him. Old guy, wearing a suit, looking down the street. Hey, um, excuse me. Can we talk for a sec? Uh, might as well. The service is being slow as shit today. Dude, the kid? <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. What's your name? KK, huh? Well, KK, here's an early lesson for you. Never trust a man who doesn't swear. My dad taught me that. I'm Logan Brown. You already met KK. What's your name? You seriously don't know? Nope, I don't. Then my name is Richard. Richard here. For real? <laughs> no. Do you work here at the Grant City Trust? What gave it away? My suit? Well, yeah. It's a good suit. What do you do here? Little of this, little of that. That's kind of vague. Always keep them guessing. That's what my dad always said. I guess we'll see you around. Sure. Now where is that goddamn car service? Didn't you call that guy Jason in that vision of yours? Jason Grant? I don't believe it. You know him? Sure I know him. Well, knew him back in the 60s. Jason was just a fresh-faced kid then. He sure got... old. That's not all he got. This guy's the spinning image of the ghost outside. You're joking. No. This is the guy. Right, KK? See? She agrees with me. Well... Hey, folks. Not really. I mean, he walked past the desk every day. He'd say hello, but we never really talked. I guess we never will now, poor guy. Uh, well, he named this bank after himself? I honestly don't know much. Nice enough guy, but I don't know much else. Sorry. Had a heart attack just outside the door. Was waiting for his car service when, poof, out like a light. The guy was fit, too. Well, fit for a 73-year-old. 
so he wasn't expecting to die. Well, I mean, who is? He was stressed out, I'll say that much. I don't care how in shape you are, if you can't relax, you're not healthy. Sure, just show me your ID and I'll buzz you right in. I shouldn't, but, eh, what the hell, go right ahead. Seriously? Uh, no? Sorry, I'm just messing with you guys. The late shift gets boring, what can I say? That would be Roy Fellows. I don't know much about him. Why is that? Because I never see the guy. If he ever comes and goes, it's never when I'm on shift. Well, like I said, I saw him every day. We didn't talk much, but he was always laughing and joking with people. But towards the end, he was always alone. He never laughed. He never smiled. He looked, well, stressed. Maybe it's the economy. You keep hearing it's bouncing back, but maybe he knew something we plebs didn't. No, nope, like I said, I never see the guy. But the lights are still on, and I still get paid, so I figure he's doing all right. See you around. Hi, um, sir? Yes. You're Jason Grant, aren't you? You run this bank? Run it? Hmm. Maybe I did, once upon a time. Now a board of directors does all that. I'm just a figurehead these days. Suits me fine. The world moves too damn fast, this old brain can't keep up. Have you ever heard of Roy Fellows? Roy? You know Roy? Uh, yeah. Roy, that little shit, that sneak, that liar! That... that... No. Not know anyone named Roy Fellows. You said your service was slow? I believe the phrase was slow as shit. Uh, yeah, that. What service? My car service. Been waiting for... I don't know how long. I hate to tell you this, but I don't think your car service is coming. Yeah, I'm starting to think that too. Well, I can give it a little longer. I'm in no hurry. No, you're, um, definitely not. Did you have a meeting with a lady on the street nearby? Nope. I don't believe I did. Are you sure? I don't have meetings on the street. He's not. Trust me. He's just confused. Confused? Who's confused? Er, uh, nobody. Sorry. Bye for now, Mr. Grant. We'll see you around. Sure. Now where is that goddamn car service? They! Sit in their tower! Believe it! He rests at the top of the towering edifice. All answer to him. He answers to nobody. Fellows is untouchable. He... he was crushed. Crushed? Crushed by the tower edifice of evil that he created. The future was taken because of him. It is as they say. What goes around, comes around. He deserved no less. Guy died, man. How does he deserve that? Do not doubt me! My name is Hugh Kravitz, and I speak the truth! Yes, yes, it has. Taken by us. For the benefit of them, the giants on high! Pity the few who are chosen. They know not why. Were you and Kalash close? Me and Kalash? No, not really. Although I kind of do owe him everything. Yeah, when I came into my power, he saved, saved my set. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what me...
Guess nobody's home. Guess nobody's home. They sit in their tower, believing they are giants. Hey, folks. I have no idea. Sorry. Just ignore him. That's what I do every day when I walk to work. It isn't late in Beijing or in Australia. Global world of finance. Someone is always working here, which means someone is always at this desk. See you around. Mr. Grant? Yes. Do you know Hugh Kravitz, that protester across the street? Is he still out there? Poor guy. He used to work for me. You know? He used to work here? What? As a janitor or something? Janitor? He, he was, was a, a vice, vice president. president. A real up and cover. So what happened to him? Nothing. He got fired. Why was Hugh fired? Did he do something? He set fire to his papers and threw them into the cubicle bay. Nearly burned the place down. Everyone saw it. He had to be fired. There's no escape, is there? Not for us. Not even for Hugh. Hugh was fired? And he was lucky? Yes. Yes, he got out. But he didn't get far, did he? None of us can really escape. Bye for now, Mr. Grant. We'll see you around. Sure. That work. What's up? I'll do my best. What do you need? I don't see why not. A kid. He took a kid. They sit in their tower, believing they are just... That changes nothing. I have witnessed the corruption firsthand. The poison. The festering malignancy. The... the... The what? Nothing. Nothing at all. A fire was set. By who? I cannot say. It was you. You set the fire. We have a witness. Kind of. I cannot say. What? Do you mean you can see? See the truth? Sure. We can see the truth. You took a kid. Come on, man. Tell us what happened. I can't. Right. Your confession said you couldn't talk about it. So you're under some kind of compulsion. The truth hurts. Hurts my head. It hurts so much. Of course it hurts. That's what makes it hard. Look, we want to help you. But we can't if you don't give us something. Anything. I cannot speak the truth. I did not kidnap a child. So, you're saying you did? Mr. Fellows did not force me to steal a baby boy. That boy was not named Elijah Cook. The boy did not belong to my closest friend and co-worker who I can't look in the eye anymore and God help me! 
Is he okay? He tried to get around his compulsion. It was strong. It fought back. We'd better get an ambulance. Hopefully his brain isn't fried. We've done all we can for him. Let's get to the bottom of this. Mr. Grant? Yes. Do you know anything about Elijah Cook, a baby that was kidnapped a few months ago? No, why? Why, why should, should I? I? He was taken by Hugh Kravitz. He says Roy Fellows put him up to it. No, no, I wouldn't know anything about that. You sure? Absolutely. Bye for now, Mr. Grant. We'll see you around. Sure. Go. Hey, folks. A kidnapped baby? Jeez, that's terrible. But sorry, I haven't heard anything. Nope, never heard of him. He works for this bank. You want to know how many people go by my desk every day? Gotta be thousands. Some of them I know, most of them I don't. See you around. So, Eli, you know about bestowers? About folks like me? A bit. Records are spotty, but there are some. What do they say? Nothing that's relevant any Guess nobody's home. What's up? You kidding? This is the financial ca- This is where it all happens. Right here. In every boardroom. Every building. Empires rise and fall. And fall. And fall. It's economic entropy. It's inevitable. I knew some good people here. Sometimes I wonder what happened to them. That poster had an apartment number on... Right behind you. who collapsed on the street earlier, weren't you? I honestly don't care. You said you have information about my son? It's been three months. I thought the police had given up. But you're not really the police, are you? It doesn't matter either way, I guess. My name's Logan Brown. The guy in the hat is Eli. I see. Appropriate. Appropriate? Nothing. Everyone thinks I made it up. They think I'm crazy. But I know what I saw. I know what happened. You can trust us. Whatever you tell us, we'll believe you. He disappeared right in front of my eyes. I took him out in the stroller. We go running in the morning and he just vanished. Yes, I mean that literally. He vanished. I saw him smile. I heard him laugh. He always laughed when the sun hit his eyes. Then he just melted into nothing. I thought I was having a breakdown. I thought I left him in his crib or something. But I looked everywhere. He was just gone. The police don't believe me. The 
you think I was negligent, that I left him alone, that I'm a bad mother. But I'm not. I saw what I saw. He disappeared. I'm just telling the truth. Whatever it takes to get him back. I don't care what anyone else thinks. You said Hugh Kravitz was involved. Is that true? Yes. Hugh Kravitz was forced to do it by his boss at the Grant City Trust. Hugh and the Grant City Trust. I never liked that place. I never liked this city. We should have just stayed down in Florida. Can we ask you a few questions about what happened? Sure. Whatever it takes. He was friends with my husband. They're co-workers. Or rather, they were co-workers. Hugh got promoted a few months ago. We had him over to celebrate. It was... Jesus. It was the night before Elijah disappeared. I never noticed that connection before. Why would I? But how? Why? We don't know. I'm sorry. What about Hugh? He's always outside the bank. Did you ask him? Um, he's kind of unconscious right now. Of course he is. I don't know. He would never talk to me. He wouldn't look me in the eye. I guess... Now I know why. Travis doesn't live here anymore. He went to a hotel, I think. He won't tell me where. Didn't he, um, die? I don't know much about him. Sorry. Yes, he did. He says he can't look at me. He can't talk to me. He thinks I'm crazy. He thinks I'm the one who lost Elijah. Maybe I can't blame him. I don't know. That's awful. Families should stick together in times like this. Maybe, but we're not family anymore. Of course you are. Tell him that, if you can find him. If you think it will help, I'll just be here. If you think... Ugh, what is that stuff? I think it's glowing. It's cast off, I think. Residue that's sometimes left behind when magic is used. Magic that can make a baby disappear? Yeah, I don't know what else it could be. Whoever did this, they were careful. This spell has a very strong veil around it. Otherwise, Winnie Cook would have seen it. Well, we'll just have to see it for her. KK says this guy's name is Griff. Some kind of... what, seriously? A detective bear? I mean, sure, why not? KK's... I mean... KK says this guy's name is Griff. Some kind of... what, seriously? I mean...
Elijah? It can't be. You okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> Sorry, KK. I'm fine. I think so. I, I mean, no, it's impossible. What are you talking about? Nothing. I, I don't know. I... nothing. Just let's keep looking around. What is that? A passport? Let's take a look. I guess? Kinda. If he gained about 20 pounds. What are you talking about? KK thinks this picture looks like you. Maybe it does. A bit. No. She's right. She's completely right. No. I need to be sure. I need to talk to Mrs. Cook again. She would know. She has to. Um, could I ask you a question, Miss Cook? Sure. Your son, Elijah, did you name him after anyone? Is it important? Yes. I think it was Travis's idea. Yeah, his grandfather. It was his grandfather's name. His grandfather was named Elijah. Well, Eli. But that's short for Elijah, isn't it? Isn't that your name, too? It's... Elliot. Sorry? My name, Eli. It's, uh, short for Elliot, not Elijah. But you had no way of knowing that. I'm... sorry? Never mind, it's nothing. We're going to find your son, I promise you. Whatever it takes. Come on, let's go. You can try, KK. It can't hurt. What's she doing? She's, um, giving you a hug. Maybe he's not the hugging type. Mandana, how'd you get here? That is not important. I am concerned. Yes, of course you are. Eli, please! must get after him, quickly. I know that look. It's the face of a recovering alcoholic, staring at a sealed whiskey bottle. I want to burn it. I want to burn that bank to the ground. What could stop me? Hell, who could stop me? Me? Oh, I'm fine. Just fine. I wasn't going to do it. Don't worry. Not him. But I want to. I really want to. You understand that, right? Eli, you know where this path leads. You promised, Madonna. You went collage. You said if I faked my death, if I cut off all contact with my family, they'd be safe. Safe from Alden's hunters, yes. This is... something else. Yeah, it's something else, all right. And they're gonna be sorry. Of that, I have no doubt. Listen, I'm coming with you on this. That's not up for debate. This is family. And you don't get between me and family. I pity anyone who would try. So, shall I go back to headquarters? Or shall I remain? I believe I said this wasn't up for debate. It is... all right. Eli will not do anything rash. Not as far as his family is concerned. All right, if you're sure. Good luck finding that kid, Eli. I mean that. Showing that to me. It's. Oh. Oh, right. Good idea. Give it here. 
<clears throat> Thank you for finding my passport, miss. Um, hi. Yeah, what's up? I lost my ID card. I've got my passport here, though. That'll work, right? Sure will. What's your name? Travis Cook. Here you go. Is, uh, everything okay? This passport picture was taken last year? Yeah, sure it was. Dude, you've lost a lot of weight. What's your secret? Oh, uh, that. I've been doing, uh... Sweating to the oldies? That's still a thing, right? <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy, believe me. Anyway, let's look you up. Travis Cook, Travis Cook, uh, here we go. Oh, looks like you have access to the 14th floor. I can issue you a temporary ID good for 24 hours. Drop HR a line and they'll replace the one you lost. Oh, I'll be sure to do that. And can I bring my two colleagues up? As long as they're with you, here's your card, and I'll open the elevator for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's my job, man. Have a good night. <clears throat> oh, the line. Sorry, Mandana. Did it hurt? I will manage. You are not the most skilled of lot of liars, Eli. The guard believes. That's all that matters. I do not...